It's Women's World Cup Day. Hey guys, my name's Lockie and this is Coastwood Football. And so excited today, Australia and New Zealand are co-hosting the Women's World Cup. And today we've got two fixtures, New Zealand v Norway, a big game for co-host New Zealand. And the other co-host, Australia, we're taking on Republic of Ireland. We've got last minute tickets to the game, we're heading down. So I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes and show you a little bit of what a match day looks like for me. First of all, just working on some of our social media graphics. Plenty of live watch longs coming up this weekend. Some big games, Nigeria, Canada, USA, uh, England, they feature on Saturday as well. And uh, yes, it's going to be a busy weekend. So going to get this out on all the socials. It's expected to be a pretty chilly night down in Sydney Olympic Park tonight. So um, let's get ready to go. All right, we have the jacket. And of course, can't forget the green gold. Let's hit the road. FIFA Women's World Cup, here we go. We are here at a core stadium, Olympic Park, Australia, Republic of Ireland. Let's go. Really starting to sink in, man. World Cup on home soil. The vibes are good. No Sam Kerr is a massive blow. We're clearly missing her, I think, that, that drive and that direction up front. Matildas with a lot of possession, but Ireland defending really, really well. Very physical Ireland. They clearly want to upset Australia and break down those attacks. Time at Stadium Australia, Australia one. Republic of Ireland nil. We got the win in the end. It wasn't pretty. The injury to Sam Kerr was a massive blow. No one really saw it coming and it definitely affected, I think, the way we played. You could tell just like the presence that Sam has on the field. You know, she's a very special player and that was very clear tonight, I thought. Overall, though, we weren't terrible. We had good passages of play, controlled the game, especially in that first half. In the second, that's where Republic of Ireland really started to come out of Australia. You know, we got that penalty goal, Steph Catley finishing it coolly, but it was nervy at the end. It wasn't easy for Australia and Republic of Ireland, you know, they played a very physical game tonight. They were sitting back and defending for much of that game. And the second half is where they really went for it. They went for Australia. They went to try and get at least a draw out of this game. And they were good. And I think Republic of Ireland will pick up points in this tournament based off the way that they performed tonight. For Australia though, if, was, if that performance was against a France, against a Germany, against an England, I don't know if the result would have been the same. There were more mistakes from Australia tonight. In midfield, we were good overall, though. I thought Kyra Cooney Cross and Katrina Gori were fantastic for most of the game. But improvement is needed. We play the Nigeria game next week without Sam Kerr. And hopefully we can have it back to the third game, the Canada game, because we need it for that one. That's going to be the tough one. But three points for the Aussies to kick us off. Really, really important. Great vibe here, uh, Stadium Australia. My name's Lucky. This is Coastal Football from Sydney Olympic Park. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.